So I thought I'd do a quick unboxing and just show you something kind of interesting I found the other day. And as always, I was on eBay looking through all the faulty consoles and junk and seeing if there's anything uh, worth picking up. And I happened to find this thing and thought it was kind of interesting, so I ended up buying it. But basically what it is, is like a an officially licensed Sega handheld, um, obviously made by a, a third party, not Sega themselves. But it's kind of like a, a mix between one of these AT handheld Mega Drive devices with all the built-in games, but it's sort of been mixed up and crossed up with a uh, a handheld media device, so you've got a, a built-in camera, it'll take photos and video, and it's got an SD card slot so you can listen to your music and all that kind of stuff, and uh, just a kind of strange device, I thought, and kind of interesting to look at, so um, yeah, what I'm going to do is just open the box up and give you a quick look at what's it, what it's all about. So just take a quick look at the box here first and on the back you can see you've got a list of the 15 games that are installed on the device so you've got quite a nice selection, you've got some good titles, some not so good ones but you've got Alex Kidd, Alien Storm, you've got Sonic 1 and 2 which is pretty good, Echo the Dolphin, Golden Axe and a couple of other uh, not so great games there. Uh, it's also got some details about the device, so you've got a built-in 256 megabyte flash memory, built-in rechargeable battery, 1.3 pic uh, megapixel camera, 2.4 inch LCD, 320 by 240 display resolution. Uh, it also tells you that you can plug this into a TV, so it's got a video output, so you can play your games in the big screen or play your media files on the, the TV, which is nice. You've got the package details, what's included, you get your AV cable, USB charge cable, all that kind of stuff. You've got the Mega Drive branding on the side. And I think it's mostly, or it was meant to be aimed more at children. It's got kids first digital camera written on the front there. It's got this big picture of Sonic and I think that's Amy Rose or Rose, I can't remember. The, the female Sonic character anyway. And yeah, Tells you all about the, the device there, SD expansion slot for more music and photos. Uh, yeah, that's the box there. I'll just get straight into opening this up and actually show you the device. So just open this up here. You can see you've got a picture of Tails there and uh, the Kamega, the Mega Drive branding. So there's the device itself, and I'll get to that in just a moment and get the boring stuff out of the way. So you've got your USB charge cable or you can transfer fi uh, files between the device and the PC as well. You've got your AV cables, your headphones and it takes one of those smaller type jacks as well which is kind of annoying so you can't just plug in your regular headphones and then you've got your SCART adapter there as well. And of course you get your instruction manual with something like a hedgehog on the side there. But I'll get straight to the, the device here. The kind of interesting part. Look at that. So this is it here and it's quite a cheap device. It kind of reminds me a lot of the N-Gage. So you can see I've got an N-Gage QD here. Quite similar in size and uh, overall look. It's just the, the screens are uh, a different orientation. I'll give you a quick tour of the device before I fire it up. So on the front you've got your D-pad. You've got four buttons as opposed to three like you'd usually find in a Mega Drive. So you've got A, B, C and a D button. It's got OK Start and Escape Menu. You've got your Kamega branding on the front there and also the, the speakers mounted in the front there as well. Underneath you've got your SD card slot. You've got a reset button. You've got a slider switch here, and that actually switches between the, the Mega Drive and the media player functions of the, the device, but I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, up the top we've got your microphone, a power LED, on off, volume, USB, headphones, and your AV out. And on the back you've got your Sonic the Hedgehog and Amy Rose design. And you also have the, the digital camera, and it's got a little mirror there for taking photos of yourself. So, overall, it feels pretty cheap. It's not a really high quality item or anything, but then again, I suppose it was uh, aimed at children, and it, 
I'm guessing probably didn't cost more than say 20, 30 pounds when it was released so uh, basically what you'd expect. So I'll fire it up and show you the media player function first so I'll just hold down the, the on button you see you get a little welcome screen and animation and then we're into the, the menu system there so you've got video recorder, camera, videos, pictures, music, settings, file navigation, tools, ebook, recordings and back to video recorder. So you can, I'll show you the, the camera first, you can take video with this as well uh, you can take stills so you can see there it's not the greatest, it's basically like one of the, the early mobile phone cameras you got on your budget phones um, it doesn't take very good quality photos at all, you can see there but what I'll maybe do is just take some photos and some video and I'll actually edit them into the this YouTube video and you can see for yourself but it's pretty poor quality so here's a quick video test using the Kamega and as you can see the video quality is pretty terrible if I just pan back here you can see my normal camera filming the, the Kamega box there and I'm having to talk quite loud for the microphone to pick me up as well so there you go if I pan up you can see the, the gaming setup over there and if you're taking still images with this, the quality is pretty much the same. It's really not very good. So, yeah, that's just a quick look at the Kamega as a video recorder. Nothing too fancy. Um, I'll go back to the main menu. So, you've got your SD card slot in the bottom here, so you can basically put any files on there you want, like your videos, you can watch videos or listen to music or um, read your ebooks or whatever. Unfortunately what you can't do is put Mega Drive ROMs on it and play the Mega Drive games through the, the emulator on this which is kind of disappointing but it is a, a kind of cheap device so you wouldn't expect too much from it. But to get to the Mega Drive part of the device what you have to do is just flick this switch here and the Mega Drive section should boot up. So there you go. So you can now browse through the games that are stored on the device. So you've got Alex Kidd, Alien Storm, Decap Attack, and like I was saying before, it's more or less an identical menu system to what you find on these AT Games handheld Mega Drives. And I'll just fire this up and show you. So yeah, you can see Alex Kidd and Alien Storm. It's more or less identical. The AT Games device actually has a slightly brighter screen, but the, the Kamega screen is much sharper. And you notice that when you're playing games as well, that there's no blurring or um, I suppose the, the refresh rate on the, the screen on this is, is a bit better. So it's a little easier in the eye, but it's, it's sadly not as bright as the, the AT Games handheld. So I'll quickly show you a game running here. And for the most part it does a good job of emulating the, the games, but what you'll notice probably straight away is the, the sound emulation is kind of hit off, but that's quite common with these Mega Drive emulators. I'll just turn the sound up a little. There we go. So you can see it's a nice crystal clear screen there. And vibrant colours and everything, but You can probably hear the, the music sounds a bit strange. So the big ends as well. But otherwise, it's um, quite a nice little device. You've got your selection of games there. Yeah, what will I play now? I'll just show you Golden Axe quickly. Kind of a strange device. Kind of interesting, I thought, anyway. So that's just a quick look at the Sega Mega Drive Kamega, and I probably wouldn't recommend picking one up unless you're maybe a hardcore Sega fan or really into collecting obscure handheld devices. I mean, if you want to pick up a, a portable Mega Drive, then I think the best thing to get is probably one of these AT Games dedicated Mega Drive uh, handhelds. This is made by the same company, it's just this isn't a dedicated device, so it's not really that great at 
uh, any of the things it does so I'd probably avoid it unless you you really just want something kind of interesting to add to your collection but yeah overall that's uh, my quick look at the Sega Mega Drive Kamega so thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon